My goodness gracious me, ladies and gentlemen, have you seen this? I cannot believe what I am witnessing right now. A bridge has completely collapsed. Now, I am no scientist, I am certainly no Scientologist, but I've been looking at this, trying to work out how the frick this has happened. You'd think, potentially, they'd have some sort of safety precaution where if one part of the bridge collapsed, the rest was able to stand up, I don't know, on its own to, I don't know, prevent life and, I don't know, prevent deaths and, I don't know, save money so they don't have to rebuild the whole thing. I mean, this is nuts. This is crazy. I'm sure you've seen a bit, a lot of speculation online as to what the f is going on here. I found this other clip on Twitter, um, so keep that in mind. But this is the aftermath, so very shocking. Unfortunately, six people were killed. I think when you think about the grand scheme of things, things have got very lucky. Imagine if this was filled with people, head to toe, family of four, cars, you've got 100 cars, that's potentially 400 people dropped into the ocean. Oh, horrible way to go. But what's happened? So... If you see the video again, there's basically the, the ship steers into the landing somehow or accidentally loses control and power or something like that and crashes. Now, one thing that is a positive is they actually knew this was going to happen somehow. So I think the, the boat lost power or if you're a conspiracy person, apparently a lot of people are saying it got hacked. I, I believe in evidence. So basically the ship power goes out and then the ship goes back on and black smoke basically pops out from the boat and then it goes out again and then the ship it basically crashes now one thing i just don't quite understand is a lot of people are saying oh it's russia it's russia bro it's not russia you know what i mean why would russia sink a ship it doesn't make sense you see it here it goes into it and it just all collapses and it, it's just mind-blowing like i said there like you think it would be supported enough so that on the right that bit didn't collapse but obviously that didn't make now this bridge took five years to build apparently and it took three seconds to fall down it's absolutely horrible to think i'm just glad that they knew this was somehow going to happen and by no by they knew this was going to happen i'm a bit confused like did they send a mayday saying look we've lost control we've lost power or we're, we're about to crash into a bridge. I thought boats had anchors you could, you know, press a button and... <laughs> You know, I've played Assassin's Creed Black Flag. You have to hold B and that shit falls down. So I like to think it's something similar, possibly. Probably not. Are you stupid? There's my child brain. So yeah, people saying the boat was hacked, but this isn't Watch Dogs 2, bro. This is like real life. Things don't just happen. I want to find out how they knew they were going to crash and why they didn't do an anchor. I'm not a conspiracy guy. I think this is a genuine mistake. I don't think Russia did it in some retaliation to the mall thing because I, I think they, they believe the mall was, you know, ISIS or whoever. Um, but ISIS was made by the FBI, according to some people online. So what do I know? And Barack Obama is the founder. That's what fucking that. Uh, Alex Jones says, oh yes, you will not believe, guys. I have found the image. So they think this is the start of World War III. I think that's absolutely bogus. But it makes you think, like, how does the bridge just collapse like, you know, a stack of cards? It makes me seriously just question life, to be honest. Like, imagine being on that boat. Thankfully, they were aware. And that's the bit that confuses me. And it happened in the AM. But this is a really busy port. Loads of boats come here. And the, the bridge is collapsed. How do you get the stuff out the water? You know what I mean? You're going to need a crane. And last time I checked, cranes don't float, nor do they hover. So it's going to be really hard to pick up the metal pieces. But it, you shouldn't say thankfully, but luckily the casualty count was so low. You know, six compared to a possible, you know, hundreds of people could have died on this if it was the day, if it was busy. And the police shut down the bridge so no one could get in. So it's just a positive that the police were so, so good and quick at re reacting. I don't believe this was a terrorist attack. I don't certainly don't believe it was Russia. And I, I think these things can just happen, but it just makes you think and makes you should just be slightly happy and satisfied that you're alive and you've not collapsed. So reported online by Colin, who's a reporter, uh, basically officials stopped the cars from crossing, which saved obviously hundreds of lives. I truly believe that. So the ship issued a mayday call before colliding. Uh, the workers on the bridge jumped into action and basically stopped all the traffic because they had a power loss, which is a bit confusing. Like how, how does a boat just drop power? I mean, you can see it from another angle here. It's not the most clear. And then bang. Just like Minecraft when you mine the bottom of a ravine and all the sand falls on your head and you die. That shit collapsed quick. This, you know, is kind of mind-boggling because it makes you think, like, why was such a big boat going through such a small tunnel, a small section, and it steered off? If you lose power, why is it still move? And does the anchor not work? Look, th these, these are all questions for people who have degrees in boats or something like that. But I, I just struggle to understand how the person aboard or the people aboard didn't suddenly go hold on a minute i've lost control hold on a minute in about 30 seconds time we're going to collapse in there pull the handbrake drop 
the anchor. Do you not think you would do... Look, again, six people die, so we shouldn't talk about conspiracies because I don't think any of them are true. I don't believe it was anyone, you know, with their tinfoil hats on going, let's collapse a bridge for the fun of it. I don't believe that's the point here, but it's going to be serious issues for America in terms of importations. Obviously, traffic's going to increase around the area, but at the end of the day, six people lost their lives, which is very sad. But thankfully, due to police and thankfully due to first responders, they saved probably hundreds of lives. So they deserve a very, very good pat on the back i'm not sure why i said that but you know what i mean like they deserve credit because this could have been a catastrophe this could have been hundreds of people died but i want to go back to my first point like how does that bridge collapse that is built poorly surely if you take a bit out it should just like crumble and then the rest stays up or something and i'm sure there's lots of physics involved and lots of sciencey formulations that you make but you know it's going to take years to rebuild it's going to take absolutely years to clean it up so are they even going to build another one how are you going to get from one side to the other i don't know really what baltimore and maryland looks like but you know uh, it's confusing man i saw a horrible meme online that it, um, they're letting women drive boats now which i do not agree with but it's kind of funny <laughs> it's kind of funny isn't it you know what i mean it's not funny if you're a woman obviously but i'm not a woman but yeah look, i mean just look at the aftermath here not brilliant and it's just a it's just a positive that so little human life was lost obviously six people did die which is more than it should have been and accidents are preventable believe it or not and this probably should have been prevented by i don't know realize you know how does a ship lose power and just keep going just pull the anchor bro like come on i mean look the anchor looks down to me there i mean if imagine if you're the pilot there you you or the the um captain you'd feel a little bit um awkward wouldn't you so what what happened i was like i don't know i'd had a f i'd had a few shandies the night before i wasn't my usual self and you know it's one thing to crash into a flock of birds it's another to take down a, a building a bridge that's worth millions and millions you know and it's not going to be easy to clear up in conclusion guys i'm never getting on a bridge again certainly not when i see a boat because that shit collapsed rapid bro that fell down quick and it, like I said, it's just a, a miracle that not more people died. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it there, I think. Uh, I just got you know it's a, it's a it's a sad state of affairs but thankfully little human life was lost and well the bridge is replaceable human life is not so i suppose it's that thank you good night